What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? My name is Christian, I'm coming from Luxembourg, and uh, I'm uh, in uh, for business here, uh, IT uh, conference. So what's the most noticeable difference being in the United States versus Luxembourg? Everything is bigger. Uh, bigger, um, more lights, more, more of everything, uh, <laughs> I think. Bigger buildings? Yes, lots of bigger buildings. Bigger lights? Bigger lights. Bigger shows? Bigger shows. Bigger people? Um, yes, more or less. It depends. Depends. Bigger meals? No, we wouldn't say that. We like to eat and drink <laughs> as well uh, over there, so... Uh, no, that's, that's the same. All right. So, coming from Luxembourg, wh what do you think of Donald Trump? Um, not very much in the... I think he's too... Uh, too... Uh, uh, how do I say? How do I don't say? Worry, you don't have to be politically correct. This is just for the internet. I, I'm looking for the right words. Uh, he, he's too uh, possessed with himself. Uh, he should be more humble, I think. That would be a good start. Okay, so America, it's bigger. Everything in it's bigger, yeah. including our president's ego. Is there is there some is there some connection there? You think? With the ego and the country, no, no, the country is. Uh, well, why do you think the United? Why, well, why do you think the United States? elected President Trump? Well, the alternative wasn't bright either, so... Uh, I you didn't like Gary Johnson? I'm sorry? Gary Johnson? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, see, I don't follow politics very much. Well, Gary Johnson was a libertarian candidate, and you're talking about Hillary Clinton, right? Yeah. 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 Hillary Clinton wasn't much better than Trump, yeah. or arguably worse. D dif different, but on, an, on, another, on another stand, perhaps, but... I don't think she would have made a difference. Okay, so you said America was founded on a, a great idea? What is that? Is that everybody can achieve uh, everything. So there, there are no limits, basically. There, you, you can do anything, whatever you want. It's difficult, but you can. If you work hard, and you can possibly achieve great things. So like you should have, it's like freedom. The freedom to succeed on your own without interference? Exactly. Do you think? Do you really think we have that in the United States? Uh, not, not anymore. But that was. <laughs> I think it was built on a great idea. I don't think that the idea is still there. But no, it's too uh, money rules the world, and that's a shame. So what happened? It's just a, a mankind thing. I mean, everybody wants to have things that don't belong to him or it's not enough if he has one million he wants 10 million if he has 10 million he wants 100 million and um, that's a shame because you should be happy whatever you have uh, if, if you are healthy and if you have uh, a nice family and all money is not not that important to me and and it should not be to to anybody else I think so maybe this is a global technology modern society issue do you think in Luxembourg people are are liberated by technology and and feeling much more free and and able to pursue their own dreams no I think in Luxembourg the problem is is basically the same it's perhaps small on a smaller scale but uh, we are we are ruled by money as well um, big countries uh, have bigger problems but uh, they're basically the same I think so is there anything that you would want Americans to learn from your perspective? Anything you can learn is always a good thing. But I don't want to play uh, like I'm, I know more than anybody else. But I think uh, talk to other people, to other countries and learn from, from any idea. It's always a good thing. Be open-minded, basically. Not like, uh, oh no, I cannot do that. That's <laughs> stupid. No, be, be, be yourself. Be yourself and enjoy instead of uh, thinking about problems that you shouldn't have. Is there anything that you want the average American to know about what the rest of the world thinks about Donald Trump? No, I just think that Americans are not representative for, for that president. They, they, they had to vote somebody. So basically, <laughs> the choice was not very... Uh, they didn't have very much choice, I think. Sounds like a pretty broken system then, right? I mean, do you think we'd be better off without a president? It's difficult. It's difficult. I mean, 
It says a lot about about things that are happening right now. But uh, take the Middle East. I mean, they they, they they shoot at each other for for decades. So it's not uh, an American president that, that that is the only problem in the world. Perhaps you won't solve any other problems, but would the world be better off if the United States didn't have a president? No, you have to have someone who gives directions, but it could be another one. Why do we have to have someone telling other people what to do? I thought we, sh I thought we should be free in America. Ah, that's a good question. Anarchy is not a good thing either. So, uh, that, that what, What's anarchy? Well, but there are no rules. Well, anarchy means no rulers, not no rules. You'd still have rules, right? Okay. But then, then again, you, you would have some kind of uh, structure any, anyhow. Well, I don't know. You'd We'd have a structure that would be like by questions. the people, right? Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky questions. Well, you're the one who brought up anarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think it's a good thing either You have to have anarchy. Uh, because if you go back, uh, the strongest will win. It will be uh, like cowboys. Well, that, that sounds like how we got governments. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Wait, wait, did Trump did Trump get elected by being the smartest candidate? I mean, maybe he was clever, but did he did he really win by being the best for the job? He's a clever guy. This guy is clever because if you get to get to the point where you get elected, where you can be elected to president, of course it's money, but still. His ideas were very simple. I don't, I don't say that they are brilliant, but they are simple. Anyone can can relate to them, and that was his big point because okay. he, 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 yeah, he was messaging. <laughs> that's that's the way I'm going to do it, and there's no way around. And well, yeah, okay, so succeeded. would we be better off if government was decentralized, if it was localized, and so we didn't have a president, we didn't have like a head of the European Union? You had government all down at the community level. I, I think we would be better off if these people wouldn't think of themselves as, be, as, as having the, 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 the almighty uh, authority. authority. That, that is true. But well, then let's stop giving it to them. Yeah, yeah. I try, I all try. Right. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Christian. Appreciate it, that was a lot of fun. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.